another day of online learning. Today we are finally finishing up our unit about ancient Greece and we are going to play a review game on Kahoot today. I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this so I'm excited to have you guys play this game and also help you prepare for your test that will be next Tuesday most likely. I just realized that we have off next Monday for Memorial Day so your test will probably most likely be next Tuesday so you'll have plenty of time to study for the test and you also have plenty of time to complete the review sheet which I will be posting on Google Classroom as a homework assignment today. So what I want you to do before we actually play the Kahoot review game is I want you to fill in this chart based on what you know about the ancient Greek city-states and of course Alexander the Great's large empire. So all you have to do to complete this chart is fill in a couple of facts for Athens, Sparta, and Alexander the Great's empire. Uh, think about what you know about their main focus. Why did they want to focus on this? What did they want to focus on? What did they think they would get out of this? Why did they do this? And then the type of government that each of these has. It could be a one-word answer, like autocracy or democracy or oligarchy. It doesn't have to be a full explanation. You could just write the type of government that existed in these three different types of societies. Once you are finished, you can move forward with the lecture video. It's very short today because you're going to be spending most of the period playing the Kahoot game. Uh, but I want you to take a moment to pause and then you could just put your answers to the do now on the Google Classroom post for the do now. All you have to do to, to post your answers, you could write Athens, main focus equals blank. Government is blank. Sparta, main focus is blank. Type of government is blank. Same with Alexander's empire. So pause the video and then answer the do now and then post it. So if we take a look at the chart, the first uh, place that we talked about was the ancient Greek city-state of Athens. Now, Athens was one of the most powerful city-states in ancient Greece. It actually does become the center of ancient Greek culture and ancient Greek education for a very long time due to the fact that it was able to create a lot of allies and a lot of power in that specific city-state. Like many other city-states, its main focus was becoming the center of society, which they do end up achieving for a very short period of time. And, of course, they did focus on developing the educational systems and the architecture of ancient Greece. The leader Pericles actually was one of the big leaders in promoting the development of the beautiful architecture that existed in ancient Athens, like the Parthenon and other buildings that you would have seen in ancient Greece. The type of government that existed in ancient Athens was the world's first democracy. That is the type of government we actually ha still have in the United States where the people have all of the power over the government. The government in Athens was a little bit different. They had something known as the direct democracy where the people voted directly on laws and directly for different government leaders. Whereas in the United States we have something known as an indirect democracy where we elect government officials to make those policy decisions on our behalf. Next up we have Sparta. Similar to ancient Athens, it had a central focus of becoming one of the center cities of ancient Greece. It ends up defeating the Athenians in the Peloponnesian Wars and they do become the controller of ancient Greece for a very brief period of time. Uh, as we know, it was not able to organize after being so destroyed after the war and Alexander the Great's father is actually able to conquer the entirety of ancient Greece. The main focus of ancient Sparta was to create the world's most powerful army and they thought that by creating the world's most powerful army they would become the world's most powerful city and that no one would be able to challenge them. Therefore they would become the most powerful center of Greece that way. The type of government that existed in ancient Sparta was something known as an oligarchy. An oligarchy is a government where only a few people have all of the power. So instead of having one king, you had like three or four very rich people who became kings and they would be in charge of the government. Finally, we have the Empire of Alexander the Great. His goal was to conquer as much land as possible. Unlike Athens and Sparta, who just wanted to become the center cities of ancient Greece, Alexander the Empire, Alexander the Empire, Alexander the Great wanted to expand the borders of ancient Greece and conquer as many as much land as physically possible. 
He also wanted to spread Greek culture. If you will remember, the Hellenistic style culture emerged during the time that Alexander the Great was the ruler of ancient Greece, and he sought to expand and spread Greek culture throughout the region that he controlled, and he was very successful at doing so. Finally, the type of government that existed in Alexander the Great's empire was that he had an empire. It was basically an aristocracy or an autocracy where one person had full control over the government. That did not mean that Alexander didn't trust people in his government, or rather, didn't trust people in his empire to oversee different parts of his empire while he was away conquering. But overall, Alexander tried to maintain full control over his own empire. So... Like I said earlier, today we're playing a Kahoot review game to help us review for our test on ancient Greece. Uh, I posted the questions that will be present on the Kahoot game on the slideshow. So if you ever want to go back and review the questions uh, later on when you're studying so that you can kind of prepare yourself for the test, you could do that too, and as always, you could also replay the Kahoot game as many times as you'd like. Sometimes it does max out in a certain number of players, so just let me know and I will reset the game so that you can play once again. Now, this Kahoot game actually has 33 questions. That's more than the last one that only had like 25 questions, so this might take you a little bit longer to play. I know this is fun. It's a competitive way to show what you know about ancient Greece, so I, all, I hope you all take this seriously, but I also hope that you have fun playing this game. Uh, so all you have to do to get to the Kahoot is on Google Classroom, I will post, if you see on a stream, I will post here, I'll post the link for the Kahoot. You'll click it and it'll bring you to this window where it says you have been challenged, Ancient Greece Review Game. All you have to do is enter a nickname and then it will bring you directly into the game. So once this happens, you will be able to see the questions and then answer them by pressing the buttons, which you I know you've played Kahoot before, so you know how to do this. So that is it for today. The only other thing I do wanna mention is that before you leave my classroom, try to answer the closing summary. You could post your answer to the closing summary uh, where you post your answers to the do now, this kind of helps you connect ancient Greece to our lives today. So think about the achievements and advancements that the ancient Greeks made to our society because there are many that the ancient Greeks, there are many things that the ancient Greeks did to help create the society we live in today. And just shoot me a few answers on Google Classroom and then you're good to go. The only other thing that you will have to worry about uh, before the test on Tuesday is to make sure that you complete the review sheet homework assignment, which will count towards your homework grade for the quarter. So I will post that on Google Classroom for you. And then I all I ask you to do is if you have any questions at all, especially about the questions that are on the Kahoot, maybe you're unclear about something, please let me know. If you need to have a little review session on a Google Meet, you can let me know and organize that with your friends, or your classmates. We can do something like that. Otherwise, if you have any other questions, you could post them in Google Classroom or you can email me the question and I will respond to you. If, if you don't have any questions, I look forward to, first of all, reading your wonderful essays about Alexander the Great, which you should be submitting today, and I will also hope to see you perform brilliantly on this exam. Have a great day, guys.